This year, LEGO Star Wars just released the brand new Super Battle Pack and I think it looks awesome. This is the Clone Troopers and Droid Battle Pack with 215 pieces and it's set 75372. Throughout the years, LEGO has made many different battle packs including things like the Clone Battle Pack, the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack, and more. And there are a lot of cool ones. But I think this one is just very special because what this one does is instead of having two separate battle packs, it combines them into one and it also allows them to have multiple minifigures and if what is a $15 set combined. Now I think this is a really cool set and it has some really great things like the large droidica and the staff speeder. But a lot of the other builds like the speeder bike and the little turret just don't really look very good and they don't add up to the hype of the battle pack. So I'm going to make the ultimate alternate build, or otherwise, I'm just going to turn it into another ATRT. You know, it would be really funny if one of these days I just turned every single battle pack into an ATRT. That's not gonna be this video, but I might do that someday. So stay tuned. Now, before I show you the alternate builds, I just wanna say, if you do want to build them for yourself, I have just made my own rebrickable account so you'll be able to download them for free and build them whenever you want. I've also added a parts list and the instruction manuals so you can easily download them or just find the parts from the battle pack when you buy it. So let's get these builds out of the way and here it is. Now I think this is a really cool mock because for many reasons. First, I was able to make all the builds minifigure scale or at least as close as I could. I also try to make the some of the builds more accurate while trying to make new builds that looked even better. Let's start with some of the builds from the actual set. So first let's talk about the Tri-Droid. I think the Tri-Droid looks really cool and it's really awesome how they built it. Now it isn't the full scale Tri-Droid that everyone was hoping for, but I think it does a great job representing what it's meant to be. And I think it also scales well with regular minifigures. Next, when it comes to the speeder bikes, I think the actual one LEGO set is better, mostly just because they had more pieces to work with than I did, but I think they did a good job. The stud shooters on the sides don't look as good as they could have been, uh, but it looks pretty good overall. When it comes to my own custom version of the th speeder bike, it's a lot smaller. It can only fit one person and I kind of just built this from with the extra parts. Now, when I designed it, I first designed the ATRT, so I kind of just used the extra parts I had to design this. Next, let's talk about the staff speeders. Now, I think the one in the set does look better overall. They had a lot more pieces, and as I said before, I originally started with the ATRT, which is why it looks so great. But because of that, I had to use a lot of the parts from the staff speeder and from the speeder bike and from the tridroid. So I wasn't able to use the parts as well. Now, when it comes to the staff speeder that I made custom, it is good. I think I did improve a few aspects of it, like the little engines on the sides, but I think a few aspects of it, like the head and just the main body don't look as good because I had a lot less pieces to utilize. Now let's talk about the ATRT. When it comes to the ATRT, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get it right. My main goal of this was to make the most detailed, most accurate thing I could. I also was able to get it at very close to minifigure scale, so it looks really good in any mock. I honestly love how this turned out, and the only thing I wish I had changed is the legs. The legs are pretty simple, and I feel like I could have done better, but I think the body and everything else looks great. I love how I added the binoculars on the side just to give a little more detail. I love how I made the turret able to swivel. And I was able to add a lot of the detail on the front, so it has a lot of all of the correct armor plating. I also love the different techniques I used to build the legs. When it comes to legs, I used a lot of Technic from the Tri-Droid, uh, but I used a lot of other parts too, and I think it turned out awesome. Overall, these are some really cool builds, and some of them I think are really good improvements to the set. Now, if you want to, I have the instructions for both the ATRT and the Stab Speeder on my Rebrickable. You can go them in the link below. I've also started working on some other mocks that I'll be submitting to 
uh, rebrickable, so you guys will be able to either buy or get them for free. Thank you very, all very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!